I am back. I'm back at SeaWorld and I'm wearing the exact same thing I did last time. I have actually left and come back. <laughs> but welcome back to SeaWorld. I'm back with my lanyard. I still have five punches left. So I need to go grab some different dishes. There was a load of tater tots, one that I didn't get to taste last time that I do want to taste this time. I am here today as well with my friend Chloe, Glow with the Chloe. I'll put her vlog down below. Also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, just make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you are aware of all the videos that I'll be posting up over the Christmas season and over 2020 in the year to come, which isn't too far away yet. So anyways, without further ado, let's go and check out SeaWorld again for their Christmas celebration. It's been a while since I came to see the Stingrays, my favorite little friends. So we're gonna go say hi to them. Oh. Chloe's never touched a Stingray before. It's not gonna bite you. Just, you just put your hands in. They're very soft. <laughs> been to SeaWorld in a long time. I'm wearing jeans yeah. and I might regret this. So we went on Atlantis. Didn't get as wet as I expected. Didn't really get wet at all, which was impressive. Then we came off and we went on Kraken um, because it was only a five minute wait. I've not been on that in years, so I was nervous. <laughs> it was going to make me feel ill, but I'm perfectly fine. It's an older coaster, but it's not as um, bumpy. It's smoother than some coasts I've been on. Um, on two over in Bush Gardens, I'm not a fan of because it's not even that old in a coaster, it just screws in my head a bit. So we've stopped to get some snacks and back again with the Christmas nachos because I enjoyed them so much last time. And then we're going to go see the Sea Lion and Doctor show that I didn't get to see last time. It's got the Christmas overlay on it, so I'm excited to see that. Chloe's excited to see that as well. Christmas. The seals. She's got the mac and cheese, loaded of mac and cheese. It's good. It's hot. So, it's chilly. It will pull me up. Like, I'll keep me going until later tonight. Um, so yeah, enough dance for She's impressed. So we're gonna finish this up, finish this off, go see the show, and I'll check back in with you then. So, I think um, we're gonna need to get no, we're gonna need to get Annette. Annette? Hey Annette! Oh, that's not Annette. That's Pete. You're, you're the hairiest otter I've ever seen. <laughs> Split up. 
I'll go this way. <laughs> the Christmas edition. It was very fun. I've seen that show multiple times and something always goes wrong every single time but this time like I don't think anything went right in that show at all. Which I think are some of the best ones because being someone that does these when the show goes completely wrong like that, those are my favourite shows to see and the favourite shows to be on stage for because you have so many stories to tell and such a laugh afterwards. I don't know if they had a laugh afterwards but they seem to be having a laugh on the stage at least. But it all started with the principal not really knowing our lines. Then the author didn't come out a few times. And it all just kind of fell apart from there. But it was enjoyable. I liked it. I enjoyed the Christmas twist. I think I still prefer just the original one. I prefer when it's a male principal. But yeah, it was enjoyable. We're going to now go do another coaster. We're going to go do Mako, which is one of my favourite coasters in Orlando. Chloe's never done it before, so I'm excited to take her on it. Okay, we're off Mako. No, Chloe, other than losing your headband. What you think? I didn't think it'd dry off. So I was like, I'm not wearing a hat. It's just a headband. It's stay on. It did not. We all sat. It was good though. It was... The first drop is scary, it's so high. But the rest of it was really good. Like, I get what you mean by like, the dropping sensation. Yeah. Like tower. Like, it Fly. Is good. I like that. So we're gonna head around the park. Oh, the sun's in my eyes. Uh, and just see what we come across next. Got my tater tops. <gasps> they look so good. It's been about four years since I did that now, but let's see if I can still hack it. <laughs> Survive, even though we got stuck in it for probably a good five minutes or so. Um, we done the start of it. I'll put the picture in. I had fear in my eyes. Chloe had her hair in her face. I have hair in my eyes. <laughs> Everywhere. And then we got stuck at the, it stops for a bit before it starts again. And we were stuck there just staring at the ground. Blood rushing to my head for about five minutes. So. And then we got to the end and we stopped again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a button as well. Pretty sure you're not meant to press it. We didn't press it. No, it's like, but, it's so tempting. So yeah. it's also like, if I press it, what will happen? I'm not yeah. risking it. It's the visions of flying down. It would have been nice, but at the same time, my legs are restrained, so I just envision of me like hanging upside down. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go get some hot chocolate from the Christmas markets and then go see the ice skating show, which I didn't get to see last time, and I'm excited to see. SeaWorld presents Winter Wonderland of All Ice.
Winter Wonderland on ice. It's snowing! definitely wins the award for the amount of snow on the trees. I've seen snow at Busch Gardens, SeaWorld, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and SeaWorld definitely wins. So much snow! We're ending our night with a visit to Antarctica to see the penguins. I haven't seen the penguins in quite a few years now actually, so I'm excited to go see them even if it is like a freezer in there. Bye. <laughs> it's time to see the wonders of Antarctica through the eyes of Bob. into a cavern of icy, bouncing light.